This is Papa Frank and welcome to another enlisted guide video. Today we are going to be discussing workshop upgrades, when to prioritize them and what to pick up first. If you like the video, don't forget to sub for more. Let's get to it. So there are three workshop upgrade types, infantry, tank and airplane workshop upgrades. I'll be going through all three of them. So if you are looking for a specific type, you can jump right to it. A note. This is a follow-up video to the squad upgrades guide, so if you didn't so far, can check it out here, in the top right hand corner. Starting out with the infantry workshop upgrades, I'll be covering the assault squad as an example. Each and every infantry squad has different weapon workshop upgrades. For example, this squad has upgrades for the PPS-42, the TOS-B and the PPS-43. The way this influences each and every gun is that if you start unlocking weapon ranks and bonuses, it will be easier for you to upgrade your weapons. That's one of the reasons why you should hold on to your spare weapons before disassembling them so that you can get more out of the bonuses you pick up within the workshop upgrades. Each squad will have different weapon bonuses and you'll be able to rank them accordingly. But one thing to note here is that the later you unlock guns in the campaign, the harder it becomes to unlock the upgrades for them. The same way you can see here where the PPS-43 is 6 levels deep in the upgrades tree. Next tip is to always take the disassemble and modification bonuses first before trying to disassemble and upgrade your weapons. It will save you a ton of weapon orders and additional grinding. Use orders to buy weapons such as the bronze ones instead of the silver ones. Which reminds me, if you are interested in how to better spend your bronze and silver orders, you can check it out here in the top right hand corner. And lastly, infantry squads do better the more perks they have and the grind for weapon parts is time consuming enough that you should prioritize personnel upgrades to workshop ones. So keep that in mind. Now tanks and planes are a whole different story and I'll start out with tanks. Workshop upgrades for tank squads are like weapons for infantry squads but the caveat here is that tanks perform better the higher their rank is. While you can learn to control a gun, there isn't that much of a learning curve for turning a tank slower and having to play it sluggish. So what you need to prioritize here is upgrading your tanks ASAP. For each tank, usually by rank 3, you unlock the bonuses in the upgrade tree. After you pick up all the parts bonuses, you can start upgrading your tank and I suggest you do that ASAP and get your tanks to the max rank to get the most out of those vehicles. You'll also want to save up silver orders to get as many spare parts as possible to be able to upgrade it. Yes. Tank parts can only be bought with silver orders as of yet. All this comes down to the fact that when compared to infantry squads, you should prioritize workshop upgrades to personnel ones because you want to improve your tank's maneuverability and firepower on the battlefield. The same as for tanks, planes are similar. Even more so that for early bombers with fewer crew members, you can prioritize workshop upgrades in comparison to squad size increase and personnel upgrades. The same logic applies here as well, with modification bonuses being the priority and getting your plane to the max level ASAP. The pilots get minor buffs and some of the perks require you to get to rank 5. That said, with your soldiers. This applies to tank crew members too, so the grind should be focused on vehicle improvements. As predicted, save up silver orders to get more spare parts to be able to upgrade your planes. Plane and tank parts are only available for silver weapon orders, so I suggest saving them up and spend the bronze ones to upgrade infantry weapons. With all that said, this has been a quick and thorough workshop upgrades guide trying to show you what to prioritize and how to save up your resources to fasten your progression. I'll be covering weapon upgrades and which weapons are worth spending parts on to get to max rank in an upcoming video, so stay tuned for more. If you liked the video, don't forget to sub, like and leave a positive comment for the YouTube algorithm to help me grow. See you next time.